Today we'll look at some Google Doc basics. Start off by going to your drive, drive.google.com, and click on New. We can now create a new Google Docs. Once this file has been created, you can give it a title, and let's call this document Google Docs Basics. As you can see, it looks very similar to other word processing programs. We'll start off by typing our text. So let's start with, uh, this is a title. Uh, this is a subtitle. Uh, this is my very first paragraph. Now, we want this to be an actual title. So what we can do in Google Docs is we can select any of these. We have normal text, title, subtitle, heading 1, 2, 3, and an option to create more. Now, let's select our title, click on title. Now, I'm not a big fan of this, so I can now adjust this. Let's say I prefer Ubuntu as a font. Let's say size 30 and give it a green text color. What I can do now is I select my title and uh, this is the title I want to use from now on so I go to styles title and I update title to match. From now on whenever I select title it will look just like this. Let's do the same with my subtitle Subtitle, not quite like this, maybe just to change the font. Let's update subtitle and let's do the same with paragraph, normal text. Let's change this to Ubuntu and update normal text to match. Here we are. This makes it much easier to work with. Another feature of Google Docs is inserting an image. Let's click on insert image. Now we have various options just like with spreadsheets and all the other Google apps. We can either upload one, take a snapshot, put the URL of our image, go to our albums on our drive, or search for an image. I'm going to click on search and let's search for an image of a dog. Here we are, we have images of dogs, but I actually I would like to have a brown dog. So let's click on brown. Here we are, brown dogs. And I quite like this picture. Let's select. As you can see, this image is quite big. So we can now resize it. Let's resize that. Much better. Another option is the alignment of our text and images. Right now, as you can see, we have left align turned on, but we can change this to center or right. Let's move it back to the left. And let's look at some highlighting and color options. Let's select the word paragraph and change the text color to say a very light orange. And let's change the highlight to a deep red. Here we are. Let's do the same for the word this. Let's say text color light yellow and highlight dark green. That's all for this first lesson. I hope you've enjoyed it, learned something new, and if you want more simply click on subscribe or come back at a later time.